John, terrific three points for the Cobbers today. That's a, a vital boost in your fight to avoid relegation. Yeah, it's a good three points. But again, we've achieved nothing. Just three points today, really, in our, in our aim to do what we need to try and do. We've been in this position before in terms of our home form, winning at home, which is very good now, four out of five. Yep. Um, good. But, you know, it's about backing it up. It will be obviously very tough at home. And, uh, but we've just got to keep an even keel on this. You know, we're, we're, we're getting closer to where we need to be. But, um, you know, like I said, most of this, one time you're up, another time you're down. <laughs> and, you know, it was, it was tough to take last week. We were all there. I heard about your, uh, oh. you talking after the game and your, you got a bit emotional about the whole thing. Oh, it's just the last three or four minutes, John, were just awful, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. And, and we're all there, but I, I, love, I love your passion, your heart for the club, you know, and I think, uh, how can I say? It's been a bit of an emotional yeah. couple of days. Yeah, well, well, let's, let's talk about that because in some ways it's the element of the room, isn't it? Lee Collins died this week, only 32 years old, left three young daughters. Uh, I get the impression the players were playing for him today. This is a win for Lee as much as it was for Northampton Town. Yeah, 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 definitely. I feel that um, <clears throat> my assistant, Mark, that's his best mate. hurt Mark a lot today. I had some conversations through the night and this morning. It's tough to take. Yeah, yeah. I think Mark, Mark Richards, you talk about here, you actually spoke to Lee last weekend, didn't you? Yeah, I spoke through the week, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's more private. Yeah. OK, let's go back to the football. In fact, just one last question on this. As I said, the players were playing for, for Lee today and when Ryan Watson got his goal, he took up his black armband and waved it to the heavens to say, that's for you, mate. That's amazing. What a tribute, you know. And uh, I didn't know him, but, you know, what people have told me, what Mark told me, he, he was a true captain and it was the selflessness that he gave to his teammates and the players it was amazing. So... That's to him today. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the football then. Terrific win today. Um, I get the impression, that, John, that managing the Cobblers is a stressful old business, isn't it? It's stressful <laughs> watching them when they're holding on to a one goal lead, but managing you on the touchline, barking at the players, it's quite tough. Yeah, I'm passionate. I want, I want to drive them. I want, to, I want them to know I'm in it with them. And, you know, I'm in it with them last weekend when it, it, it doesn't go right in the last minute. I walk straight over in the first per person I put my arm around with Sammy Hoskins. You know, I'm, I'm in with everyone. I'm all in. We're, we're all in. All our staff, Samo, Mark, m myself, Dan, we're all in. We're giving it everything we've got. You know, and, you know, it really hurt me. I read people's comments after the game and saying that they, the boys didn't try a leg. Well, let's get it right. The boys are absolutely, their output is incredible. And, you know, with with what we've got at the moment, with uh, Sabi's now out for the rest of the season. Is he? Yeah, Mikel, um, touch and go for the rest of the season. You look, I've got no replacing, replacements in midfield. I've got, and, and, and you've got your young lads there. They've got to be better in training. You know, you've got your, your young lads, your Ricky Corbowers, your Calebs, and people ask about them playing at the moment. In training, they have to be better to get to the standards we require. You can't flick a coin and hope they're going to turn up. And that's why those players play week in, week out. And I'll tell you what, they are, and, and they are given every single thing to the cause. And how dare anyone say they're not giving anything? I've had enough of it. Get behind them and give them everything you got. I think some of the comments last Saturday, John, were maybe a knee-jerk reaction to the disappointment of the defeat. Sometimes people go on social media and maybe don't always think before they write. 
true. People can, look, they can have their opinion, but I tell you what, it's rolled me this week. And I'll tell you what, it's rolled me to, to, to really find a way to get that three points. Fair play if they've done it that way, but at the end of the day, it's, um, I think, you know, it'd be nice if people were behind us and know what we're working with. Yeah, limited resources. Massively. Okay, let's talk about Monday. Hull, the league leaders away from home. I mean, it doesn't get any tougher than that, does it, John? It's a, it, but on the evidence of this afternoon, you'll go there with great heart. If you play that this afternoon on Monday at Hull, you must have a chance of getting something. Yeah, look, we always believe we'll go there to try and win the game again. And, uh, you know, it's... It, we're, 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 we've watched them. I didn't have, I've got to say, I've got to do a lot of prep now. Tonight, it doesn't stop. Um, what I wanted to do is have most of my focus on today and not have an eye on anything else. So, um, yeah, I know about them and I know how they play, uh, but now the work starts as soon as I get home tonight. Yeah. It starts tonight. And uh, we'll, be, we'll be prepped, ready, organized, and you know, look, we're, we're showing we don't give much away um, in terms of the way we defend. And uh, we'll have to be at our be very best on Monday and the boys will have to get ready to go again. Yeah, defensively, I mean, you barely gave anything away mm -hmm. to Shrewsbury today. Yep. Uh, Jones and, and Horsford and later on Sheen doing a terrific job defensively. That gives you heart, doesn't it? Going to a, a difficult place like the KC Stadium. Yeah, look, you know, the, the difference... Look, we defend from the front, like you, you talk about, you know, your defenders today, but, you know, Danny Rose, again, had that spring in his step that he had on the Tuesday against Oxford, you know. Um, he wasn't quite at it against AFC Wimbledon, but gave everything he had. But today, I thought, you know, you, you talk about defensively, we defend from the front with this team. We're hard to beat teams can't play through our lines you know when you look at that today what was it one tame shot from about 20 yards was yeah. it in the Mitch's hands um, it's been pretty much our story we don't give much away but you know that, that game it was a game of two halves again today wasn't it you know first half I thought we really had the initiative we started to create a few chances second half we were, we were very nervy against people couldn't really probably feel it on I follow, but it was quite a strong wind going down the pitch. And then we're, we're a bit panicky, we're slashing at things, and we just need to calm a little bit more. And we couldn't get out of our half, um, you know, in the, especially in the first 20, 25 minutes. And I, I feel we can have that extra pass to move the ball. And then there was a period we relaxed a little bit more and we moved the ball about, but there, was, there were only brief glimpses. And sometimes in these, uh, like Shrewsbury, they're not going to go down and they're not going to get in the playoffs. So they, they they can play a bit carefree and really push on. So there's another dynamic we're dealing with, you know. But look, at the end of the day, we've got three points today um, and we've got we've to gotta just keep even on this right now. And just a final one on Monday, Hull away. You know, the evidence suggests you might play with a good deal of freedom there. The Cobblers are playing with freedom against some of the better sides. You won't be expected to get anything there. We hope you do. We think you will. But will they play with the kind of freedom they showed against Portsmouth, against Oxford, perhaps uh, even against uh, even against MK Dons for long periods of time? Tim, I might hire you in to do my team talk, to be honest, <laughs> with the passion and emotion you show. I might hire you in to do my team talk before that game. And I might surprise you. I might walk up in the stand and get you down. Um, it's a very long way down, up over in the back of the stand at but I'll be, well, I'll be willing to do it, of course. <laughs> love it, love it. But no... <laughs> Look, you know, as you know, you've seen from the 13 games we've played, we'll be ultra organised. Um, you know, it's how we find a way. And, uh, you know, nothing better than the underdog, is there? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I will ask you one more question. You mentioned a little while back about some of the players on the training ground not quite living up to your standards. Yes. I mean, how do you get people like Corbeau and, and Chet Mamika to, to give their all in the way that Danny Rose does and Lloyd Jones does, etc.? They give their all, but it's in their decision making. And, and, and say, for example, you ask at times, take less touches, but then when they continually take six, seven touches and slow our play down and, 
their delivery is not quite right and they're not making forward runs. You know, you, you can coach that. But it's then that down to their decision making and implement and what they need to do at the right time. If they're not consistent in their actions, I can't hope they're gonna turn up for us and put them in the team. I can't hope. We're in a position we can't hope. We have to go with reliability. Okay, thanks for your time, John. Thank you.